Now, for today's class, we will start off with the weight working your upper body, your arms and your shoulders. Okay, so. I'm going to use half a kg weight, okay? So use whatever you're comfortable with. Stand up nice and tall. Now we are coming into what we call a first position. So external rotation of your hips. Your knees and your feet are pointing away. Squeeze your inner thighs together, knees together, calves together, heels together. Stand up tall. Lift your shoulders, roll them down and back. Arms to the side. Now come into a plie, bend both knees and stretch. When you stretch, squeeze between your inner thighs, lengthen your spine, keep going. Another five, four, three, two, last one. Stay down, lift your arms out, hold it here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two and one and pulse it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two and one. Keep your arm steady. Pulse your hip. One inch up, one inch down. Another six, five, four, three, two and one and stand up tall. Nice work. Lift your shoulders. Roll them down and back. Now keep your core engaged. Lift your arms up. Come back to your plie. Bend both knees. Stay here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, and pulse it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Pulse your arms. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, and stand up tall. Strengthen your legs, give them a shake. Now, just now, when you lift your arms up to the side, you work on your side down. Your shoulders have three grips, front, side, and back. So when you bring it up to the front, you work on the front. It makes sense, right? Okay. Now, we're going to do it one more time, but this time, I'm going to challenge you guys. Stay in your first. Elevate. Lift your heels. Press your heels against one another. That's your support. Now, once you're there, Nice and slow, lie your back down, bend your knees. Come back to your plie. Feel your legs shaking already. Now make sure your knees are pointing away. Hold it here. Once you're ready, bring your arms up to the side. Hold. Eight, seven, six. Neck long, shoulders down. Five, four, three, two, and one. And pulse your arms. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two and one. Keep your arms steady. Pulse your hips. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And stand up tall and release. Give it a shake. Good work. So this is a time saver. You work your arms. You work on your core. You work on your legs and your glutes. Now, why your core? All these standing poses. Even though it may not be so obvious, but the fact that you have to use your core strength to hold yourself up and keep you balanced, enhance your core engagement, okay? Now, we're gonna to go to the front again. So, come back to your first. Lift your shoulders, roll them down and back. Come in and elevate. Press your heels against one another. Once you're there, sink yourself down. Now, glide your back down. Arms long, neck long, shoulders down. Hold it here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And pulse it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Pulse your arms. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, and stand up tall. Good work, give it a shake, good work. All right, now we're gonna go to your rear delt and your back muscles, all right? Now, to go there, we will start off, like I said, it's time saver, you'll work your legs and your core as well. So we're gonna go into a chair pose. Your chair squat, think about the alignment. First of all, make sure your feet and your legs are hip width distance apart, okay? You're not standing like this. Okay, and definitely not turning your knees in, okay? Now, to make sure that you protect your knee, I want you to think about a movement initiated from your butts. So you push your hips back, then bend both knees. I don't want you to sit down where your knees are forward. If your knees are be 
uh, in front of your toes, it's a lot of pressure on your knees. It's not very good for you in the long term. So think about keeping your um, back neutral, push your hips back, bend your knees. When I say back neutral, take note that you're not arching your back, sticking your bum out. That's not very good for your back either. And you're not rounding your back, all right? So neutral, meaning that now when I come up, there's no change in curvature, all right? So everyone, uh, get ready for your chest squat. Push your hips back, bend both knees, spine long, core is engaged the whole time. Now to work on your rear delt, lift your arms out to the side and lower and lift and lower. Now every time you lift, feel that you're squeezing your shoulder blades towards one another. Someone is pinching at the center of your back. You try to squeeze into that finger. All right, now let's keep going. And now the six, five, four, let me let you guys see me from the front. Three, two, and one. Hold it here, hold eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Pause your arms. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And stand up tall. Good work. Lift your shoulders. Roll them down and back. Shake it out. Now, one more thing. When I say pause, okay, it just means move your arms or, or the muscles. Okay, up and down. One inch up, one inch down. Um, in bar, we use what we call uh, isometric muscle contraction, meaning that it's the same length. You're not flexing and stretching. So this is isotonic. You keep the mus your arms steady, same length, you just work it, all right? So it can help you to tone without bulking up your muscles. Hence, those nice and toned muscles of the ballerinas. Okay, now, just now we work on your rear del and your back muscles. We are going to the tricep, the back of your arms, all right? So come back to your chair squat, push your hips back, bend both knees. Lift your arms up, keep your upper arm parallel to the floor, hold it here. Stay for five, four, three, two, and one. Teeny tiny circles. Make sure your core is engaged, everyone, knees behind your toes. And now the five, four, three, two, and one. Change direction. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. One inch in, one inch out. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Last eight. Bend and stretch. Bend and stretch. Now make sure your upper arm is steady. Minimize the movement from the shoulders, all right? So you're not moving your arms up and down. Keep your upper arm steady. Stretch. Tricep kickback. Really effective for those muscles at the back of your arms. And now the five, four, Three, two, and one, and slowly stand up tall. Holding onto the weight behind your back now. Use those weights to help you to stretch. So come into gentle back bend, look at the ceiling. Hold it here. One more breath. Now release, slowly stand up tall, fold forward. Lower the weight all the way down. Come into a standing forward bend. One more breath. Nice and slow, slowly push yourself away. Roll your body back up. Stand up nice and tall, lift your shoulders, roll them back. If you're not used to exercising those muscles, you may feel a little bit tight, a little bit sore, perfectly fine. Now stretch your tricep, bring your right arm up, bend it towards your back. Hold it here for a moment. Stretching is extremely important. Not that it helps uh, muscle growth directly, however, it helps you with blood circulation. So let's change arm first, the other side. Now, when you have better blood circulation, blood gives nutrients to the muscles and hence indirectly help your muscles to grow. Not to mention that it helps you to release your muscle ache. Shake it out, nice work. Okay, we are going to work on your bicep. Now, for your bicep, in general, we carry things around, so usually our biceps are a lot stronger. So you can use heavier weight. I'm gonna to switch to one kg, all right? All right, okay. 
Now, for the first set, just the arms, okay, just to get you used to the movement. So, once again, now, to target your bicep, I want you to think about isolating the bicep without using your shoulders. So, keep your upper arm steady, okay, bend and lower. So, keep your arm tucked, okay, in other words, I'm not moving my whole arm. Now, I'm using more shoulders than my bicep, all right? So, think about your... The back of your arms doesn't go past your back. So bend and lower. Bend and lower. Perfect. That's the nice way to isolate and target your bicep. All right? Okay, everyone. Uh, first round. Wrist facing one another. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Another six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one, keep it at 90, pause it, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, lower it all the way down, now change your grip, now wrist facing front, so the difference is bicep, remember bi means two, okay, so when you have your wrist facing one another, you work on this part of your tricep. When you turn your wrist towards the ceiling, you work on this part, the peak, as versus the belly. All right? So we get to both heads. Now, stand up nice and tall, lift your shoulders, roll them down and back. Bend and lower. Bend and lower. For some of you, if you want, you can even use 2 kg, all right, for your bicep. And now the five, four, three, Two, and one, keep it at 90, pause it, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, and lower it all the way down, nice, right, lift your shoulders, roll them down and back, now I'm going to add, I'm going to add the legs, okay, now, so turn your grip so that your wrists are facing one another, this time as you bend your arm, I want you to lift your leg, point your toes, when you lower, stretch, if you can, keep your foot off the floor, all right? Bend and stretch, okay? Okay, let's go. Now, lift your shoulders, roll them down and back. Bend your arms, lift your leg. Stretch, point your toes. Good, another eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, last one. Pause your arms. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Stretch your leg, point your toes, hold it here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bend and lower it all the way down. Give it a shake. Good work. Now, just now, you may notice the fact that even though you're working this leg, you may find the engagement of your glute on the other side. The reason being that when you lift your leg up, you need to use your other hip to keep you level, all right? And the fact that you're standing on one leg, especially when you're standing on one leg, it's a lot of core to keep you steady. Otherwise, your body is just swinging left and right, all right? Okay, the other side. Now, turn your wrist towards front. Lift your shoulders, roll them down and back. Once you're ready, let's go. Lift and stretch. Lift and stretch. Nice. Another six, five. Keep your chin parallel to the floor. Four, three, two, and one. Keep your arms bent and 90. Pause your arms. Eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, and one. Stretch your leg. Hold it here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bend your knee. Lower your arms. Lower your legs. Give it a shake. Good work. All right. Drop the weight for a moment. Okay. Give your hands a shake. Now, extend your arm out. Left hand to your right hand. Stretch it out. This is a really nice way to stretch out your arms. So you can do that not only when you're exercising. When you're working at your desk, do this every now and then to stretch your arms. Especially if you're spending a lot of time at your desk typing away, all right? Stretch your wrist and give it a shake. Good work. 
All right, okay, put the weight away for a moment. Now, so, uh, just now, we work on your shoulders, front side and back, you work on your bicep, you work on your tricep, just about your upper arms. Now I'm gonna go to your legs, all right? Okay, so come back to your first. Now think about your legs. Hips, three muscles, okay? We'll talk about that in a bit, okay? Uh, for your legs, three compartments. Front, your hamstring, oh, sorry, your quadricep. The back, your hamstring, your inner thighs, the adductor grips. We're gonna to get to all of them. So stay in your first, lift your shoulders, roll them down and back. I did say we're not learning ballet, but you need to do your parts. So have a really nice posture. Belly in, rib cage in, shoulders down and back. Now, what we're gonna do with your arms, release your arms are what we call first. Bring it out to the side. Keep your arms long, fingers long. I don't want claws, all right? Okay, stretch them out. Shoulders down and back, chest open. We are going to tendu. So tendu just means stretch. Now, start with your left leg. So, oh, sorry. This is a time, it's a good time to put on your socks. Why don't we do that, okay? <laughs> Almost forgot. This is the best thing to help you to glide, all right? All right, okay. If you don't have your socks, no big deal. Just make sure you can glide your foot along the floor. Okay, now, once again, stay in your first, lift your shoulders, roll them down and back. Bring your arms to first, take it out to second. Let's hold it here for a second. Now, even without doing anything, if you're just holding it here, I'm sure you can feel a lot in your back and your shoulders. So imagine those ballet dancers, this is how much they need to do to hold the arms up. Remember, fingers long, all right? Now, turn, do out your left leg, push, 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 push. When you go to the furthest point, point your toes. Come to the ball of your foot, drag it back with straight leg. So when you use the floor as your resistance, when you drag it back, you will feel it in your inner thighs. So push, you can feel your quadricep, push point. Ball the foot down, drag it back, all right? Now, let's go. Push, 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 point. Ball the foot down and drag. Push and drag. And now the six, five, four, three. Hug this outside thigh in. Two and one. We're going to go in a little dagger shape. Lift your leg up. Bring it back down and drag it back. So push, point, lift, down, and back. Push, point, lift, down, and back. And now the six, Five, point, really feel the stretch in your quadricep. Three, two, and one. Hold it here. Can you hold? Keep your foot off. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Pause it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And bring it all the way down. Shake it out. Good work. I hope you feel a lot on your opposite glutes, okay? At the same time, when you stretch and point, especially when you lift, if you bring your hands to your quadricep, nice and tight, this is how you can work those muscles. Right, the other side. Lift your shoulders, roll them down and back. Stay in your first. Bring your arms to first, take it out to second. Turn, do out, point, drag it back. Push, point, drag it back. Push, point, Track it back, another six, five, four, three, two, and one. Degashe, lift, down and back. Push, point, lift, down and back. Another six, five, four, three, two, Last one, hold it here, point your toes, stretch your leg. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, and pause it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, and bring it all the way down. Nice work. Shake it out. You guys feeling your butt? <laughs> I am. All right, last exercise. All right, now. We're gonna do something very similar, but keep your feet parallel. We're gonna keep your arms out to the side. I want you to lift your leg up. So this actually works on your quadricep a lot more. If you need to use a wall, 
your back against the wall to keep your arms out, keep your shoulders down, stretch your leg up, point your toes, and hold, hold it here. All right, now let's go. Lift your shoulders, roll them down and back. Take your arms out to second, shoulders down, back fingers long. Lift your leg up, point your toes, hold it here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Can you pause your leg? Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And take it all the way down. Nice work. The other leg. Lift your shoulders, roll them down and back. Take your arms out to second. Point, point your leg, lift it up, hold it here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, and pause it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, and take it all the way down. Nice work, everyone, give it a shake. Now let's go into our stretchings, okay, before we finish off the class. So to stretch your glutes, external rotation of your right hip, bend that leg, left hand grab of your right foot. So it's external rotation of your hip to stretch your glutes. Now we're going to what we call dancer's pose, right hand grab of your right foot from the inside edge, keep your legs together. Bring your left arm up. Lean yourself forward, kick your leg up. Now, if you need something to hold on to, please do, do so, okay? Stretching your quadricep and slowly come back. Release that leg, take that ankle to your opposite knee. Still external rotation of your glute, bring your hands to prayer, sink your buttocks down. You should feel a lot stretching your glutes, releasing the tension from your butt. Bring your hands all the way down on the floor. One more breath. Bring your hands back to prayer. And slowly stand up tall, shake it out. By right, you don't need your socks, feel free to take it off. I just don't want you to be falling left and right, okay? The other side. External rotation of your left leg. Take your left foot to your right hand. Hold it here. Then go into your dancers. Left hand grab over your left foot from the inside edge. Right arm up. Slowly lean yourself forward. Kick your leg up. Stretch your quadricep. And release. Come back. Take that leg on your opposite knee. Bring your hands to pressing your buttocks down. Down, 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 bring your hands all the way down. Bring your hands back to prayer and come on up. Give it a shake. All right, stretch your hamstring. Now, bring your right leg forward, left leg back. Bring your arms, what we call fifth. So your arms are up towards the ceiling, fingers pointing towards one another. Now, make sure your feet are diagonally aligned, meaning that your back leg is not right behind the front leg. Breathe in, as you breathe out, fall forward. Lower your torso down. So guys, see it from the side. Lift your foot up from front to stretch the back of your leg. Fold from your hips. Ground your front foot. Glide your front leg back, back leg forward. One more time. Bring your arms up to fifth. Breathe in, as you breathe out, fold. Lift your foot up from front. Fold from your hip. Hold it here, stretching the back of your legs. Your hamstrings connected to your butt. Your butt is connected to your back. So if you stretch it out, if this is more flexible, less likely to have lower back pain. Ground your front foot back leg forward. Come into your standing forward bend one more time. Take your hands behind your back. Interlace your fingers. Squeezing between your shoulder blades. Point your arms towards front. Release your hands down. Nice and slow. Roll your body back up. Lift your head up, last and up tall. Lift your shoulders, roll them down and back. Now, we are closing off the class. Take a deep breath in through your nose, shrug your shoulders and hold. Feel the difference when you drop. One more time. Lift and hold and drop. Take a curtsy. Take your arms out to second. Bring one leg back behind. Bend both knees. Take a bow. Thank you, everyone. Join me for the next class.